Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5 and today I'm going to show you how to get the gold time in the time attack challenge of the US Sport Bike 1000 trophy for the record challenge of the Daytona Speedway. Now I already have done a guide on this but there was a few discrepancies with the bike of you so basically I'm just going to do it again for you from scratch. So here we are in the bike selection screen this time we're going to be using the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R from 2000. And eight. So go into the bike and do your customization. There is only two things to change. Into engine, go into engine kit number one. That will move your performance index up. And then go over to the exhaust to purchase the Arrow Race Tech right there. Either color doesn't really matter, but as long as your uh, performance index is less than 799, in this case it's 797, everything will be fine for this challenge. Everything else on that screen remains completely stock, untouched. So now onto the track, we're going to move over to the bike setup. You can't change tyres because we have stock tyres, but there is the bike setup. Nothing has changed, everything is stock. However, the electronics have been reduced, as you can see on screen right now. Well then guys, deja vu from a couple of hours ago, let's tackle this one more time. This is the Kawasaki Ninja as mentioned already. If you've skipped forward then I highly recommend you go back to the beginning because you do need to see which bike I'm actually using. So, first things first, the second the autopilot ends, downshift to the fifth gear, then back up to sixth gear. It does give the bike a bit of a boost going into this start. And from here, you're going to have to hear the Kawasaki Ninja scream a hell of a lot because it's pretty much all out acceleration until you get to the corner. Keep accelerating, but move into the left-hand side. You want to go tight to the apex here and start to reduce acceleration as you find the bike getting a little bit further to in or getting a little bit out of shape. That's when you want to start reducing the acceleration. There's a biting point that you'll feel where you're able to then downshift and then back up shift to sixth gear on the way out. I always aim for the inside of the curb. Always go for that tighter burn because that does help you move into the corner. So into the left-hand side here. I'm going to reduce the throttle quite abruptly here. Downshift to fifth and keep the, Z the ZX-10R over to the left hand side to turn 4, keep it in, keep it in and just gradually bring the bike up after you've upshift back into 6th gear and you will have enough speed if you move over to the left hand side, go for that tighter corner as well and get across the line, that is the gold lap time here. So let's see that one more time just to show you it wasn't a fluke, it can be done, I would definitely recommend using this bike, it probably can be done with other bikes but for now I'm recommending the ZX-10R, so once again wait for the autopilot to conclude, bang down to 5th gear, back up to 6, get a few extra miles per hour out of the Ninja, move over to the left hand side and then keep it in, again don't be moving abruptly on the track, just keep the bike straight as much as you possibly can, you want to try and keep that neutral lean angle, Move over to the left hand side, keep it in nice and tight, look how tight we are to the yellow line there. That's what you want to be aiming, as you feel the bumps, the feel the berms, start dropping down to 5th gear, but do not drop any lower than that. Fire back up to 6th gear and get onto the power for the straight. And as you can see, we're actually up by 33,000th of a second. Keep charging now, going into turn 4, get into the middle of the circuit and just slowly move the bike over to the left hand side. There you go, we're pretty much neck and neck with our time from earlier. Downshift to fifth gear, bring on the power. You can see the right trigger on the acceleration there, how much is being applied in these corners. Bring on the power once more and get that bike straight. Straighten up, move over to the left hand side. You want to go for that tight corner, keep that speed going and get across the line again to pass this challenge and coincidentally for the same lap time. So guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I do hope this guide has been helpful compared to the other one where I made the mistake. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.